Hello guys, this is Povilas from Laravel Daily and today I want to show you a quick trick related to database migrations. Let's have a fresh Laravel project and let's imagine uh, you want to add roles to user, uh, to user tables. So for users, every user would have a role. And you create a migration for roles table. And then uh, you want to add a field, so users role ID. But you don't want to create a separate migration, add role ID to users. You want to have clean migrations, like one table per migration when possible. And then you would like to have this. So role ID inside of users table, which is the first migration. Uh, but if you run migration now, it will fail because there's no role table. Let's try that actually. If you migrate, uh, the first migration will fail. Cannot add foreign key constraint because, well, basically there's no role table yet. So how do you uh, specify migration to run before some other migration? Uh, it's pretty simple. You can just rename the migration, rename the timestamp. Because migrations will run alphabetically. In this case, well, numerabetically, if, if that's even a word. But uh, you can just rename the file name, refactory name in PHP Storm, and you can change the date so the roles would be before the date. So that would be 2014, 10, for example, 10, 11. Refactor, and there you go, it's above uh, alphabetically in PHP Storm. And now let's try to run the migration again. Um, migrate, probably we don't need any fresh thing. Migrate, base already exists. Okay, yeah, we have to run migrate fresh. Migrate fresh. And there you go, roles, users, and passwords. So that was a quick tip. Uh, so you can rename the migration file names in order to run the migrations in exactly the sequence you want. But uh, notice, please, really be careful as soon as the application is somewhere on staging, in repository, on your co colleague's computer, somewhere where they have run migrations already, or even on production. That's, God forbid, don't touch that. So uh, do that trick only when you're locally working or working alone, and when you can safely uh, combine migrations or move them however you want. So that's a quick trick to work locally to uh, basically arrange the migrations before committing somewhere to repository. Hope that's helpful.